Look what came in the mail today. So they package it really nicely, put it back. I don't think there's any, yeah, they don't put any things on here. Um, so here's what it looks like. So I restrung this guitar, and yeah, I think this is a better angle than the previous clip. So before, this guitar was neon yellow, and it had a poly finish to it, and I wanted a nitro finish as well as a different color. I kind of wanted this aged cream color, and MJT Guitars was able to fulfill my request and get this nice color, and also add this relic job to it. So, if you look closely, you can kind of see the paint kind of cracking. Which is pretty cool, and... They do the back side, so the whole body is just kind of cracked, and I kind of wanted that look for this guitar. And it... There's some dings as well. These dings are there from my previous finish I guess and they kind of incorporated everything to kind of mix well. I think they did a good job. They didn't work on the pick guard so it kind of looks new but I think it's fine over time it'll look like shit you know so that's fine. And the neck was a little difficult because they said that if they do want to remove this poly finish to it, they would have to remove the Fender logo as well as the serial number on the neck. And I didn't want that. I wanted to keep it on the guitar. So I said, uh, yeah, we could just um, skip that and ship it as is. Uh, what they did, though, was kind of sanded down the back of the neck so it looks more matte. And it is kind of easier to play when it's less glossy so that your hand doesn't, you know, get caught anywhere. Because uh, I have pretty sweaty hands, so it's very easy for me to stick to any of the positions. I think in that regards that helped. But overall, that I think that's all they did. And I'm pretty happy with the results of the paint job. I think it cost, I think, $450 around there for just a body. And um, I'm actually asking if they could refund me for the neck. The neck part was around 270 And what they did was that uh, sand this down, but I wanted something uh, more relic, right, to go with the body. But unfortunately, if they wanted to go further, they would have to remove the two things that I mentioned before, and I didn't want that. So... Uh, hopefully, if the customer service could get back to me on that, I'll, I'll let you guys know um, how, you know, how they respond and uh, keep you updated. So yeah, overall, I think I missed this guitar because I shipped this in July. No, I think end of June, and I just received it, and it's November. Well, end of November, so um, it's been a while without this, this guitar, and I'm happy that it came back. So. I'm going to be doing more covers with this guitar, um, so stay tuned. I hope this video helped you in some way if you were interested in doing or changing up your guitar, uh, your color. They do all kinds of guitars, so it's not just strats. And they give you kind of options of what color to, uh, or what color they you would like. So they have like the basic colors and they have shades of each color as well, which is pretty cool. And you can also choose uh, how heavy the relic, you know, you'd like. So this is kind of medium, and I didn't want anything too ridiculous where the wood is showing on uh, this area, because then it, it's just a little too much. If you guys have any questions about my guitar and the finish, let me know. And uh, let me know if you guys used MJT before as well. I want to know uh, how your guitar turned out to be. And it would help me a lot if you could click that subscribe button and click that like button as well. 
and I'll see you guys next time.